Hey, what is up, everyone? I'm here to give you my WWE 2K15, and I'm going to let's play. Sorry, you like get a zoom in on my mouth, but I'm turning the TV up right now. But anyhow, um, I'm here to give you the WWE 2K15, another let's play. This time, I'm going to do the, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start the uh, 2K showcase mode today, and uh, I really don't know where I'm going to start, so I'm just going to let it play out. I haven't really seen anything about the 2K Let's Play to showcase mode. Why I'm starting now is because Adam and his friend was over yesterday, so I couldn't do it yet, so you're going to get it now. And, um, this should be a lot of fun. Actually, Adam and his friend broke my other game yesterday, so I had to get a new one. Idiots. Um, but, you know, uh, was new, they were tugging at a controller, so it made a funny noise, but I got it. Anyone want to tell me how I can get stinned, by the way? Because, uh, I can't seem to do that. I'll go. I'll show you. And I actually have to plug in my computer because it's gonna probably die pretty soon. Right, I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm talking about. So. Going to a uh, WWE shop. And look, it says WWE 2K15 Showcase Season Pass and Accelerator, which means you can unlock everything just by just pressing X. And it doesn't have that. I don't know what's going on. If it's just weird stuff, but I don't know. I don't see Stin, and I have the code and everything. I just don't know how to download Stin. So if you guys could tell me in the comments below how to download Stin, that would be great. But if not, then oh well. Uh, so let's uh, get this started. Um, I put up the ch I put up the uh, volume to uh, like 35, so it should be uh, you should be able to hear it pretty well. So let's start the 2K the 2K showcase mode. Alright, so, uh, options, it's gonna be on legend, subtitles on, entrances on, tips on, blood on, auto save on, and everything, but the menu music is gonna be up, I'm gonna, so I just wanted to start off doing that first, and since this one's on the left, and that's the one it told me to click on first, 
I'm going to play the Hustle Loyalty Disrespect um, feud first. So this is the feud between CM Punk and John Cena. So I'm going to start off with uh, that one first. And then, um, since it's on the left. And uh, I like how it gets closer to you when it goes to uh, do that. So let's do it. On June 20th, 2011, three men battled for a chance to challenge John Cena for his WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio, Rey Mysterio, CM Punk, the winner, will face John Cena for the WWE Championship. Remember, triple threat rules, first man to pick up a big ball win. Six one done! Mysterio, will he be number one contender at Punk? CM Punk saving it! But a shot at the gold was not enough for CM Punk. Punk was determined to ignite a spark of change in the WWE. Brutal honesty I'm known for. July 17th is the day my contract with World Wrestling Entertainment comes to an end. When the clock strikes midnight, I'm leaving. And I am leaving with the WWE Championship. That's the lively. That's how it all came about at Money in the Bank. And now I'm going to think I'm about to play that match. Which was uh, my, my favorite match of the year in 2011 was John Cena versus CM Punk. It's uh, loaded. And look, he comes out to his old theme. And I don't think he had the t-shirt yet. I think he was still in the uh, the new Nexus attire, so I think that's what I'm but oh well. One thing I like about this uh, this game is that uh, the commentators don't talk about the same stuff. They talk about different stuff. But yeah, this match, uh, con CM Punk's contract is going to expire on this day. And uh, and if he didn't win this match, you know, if he won this match, he was going to leave with the WWE Championship, as he just said. But if John Cena didn't win. So, and if also if you won this match, John Cena would be fired from the WWE. I think 
mind this song. I actually like this song with CM Punk hair, but I like that they kept it. I like that they added this in the game. I thought he was gonna come out to his uh, cult of personality theme song. This is the song. This is like the first song he had, and he kept it for uh, pretty much his entire career until 2011. Oh wait a minute! He doesn't just go. Oh no! It's, he's sitting down. And this is in his own town, so everyone's close to your punk here. Everyone's close to your punk, and it's his hometown, and they hate John Cena. Here he comes. The champ. John Cena. I look, he's in his uh, his red, he's in his uh, t-shirt, his red t-shirt. He's got his red gear on. There it is. That's what we're fighting for. And, this, and they want to show what we're fighting for, and we're fighting for the WWE Championship. Like how it says the name at the bottom nowadays, I don't think it does, but maybe it's just something I hadn't noticed in, in video games. Uh, I don't know my objectives. I have to get John Cena to put up the damage, it doesn't say what to get the thing to do, I'll just do it anyways. Oh, neck breaker. Seems to get the job done when the pressure's on. And this hometown crowd is certainly going to do their part. You know that. Well, without a doubt, Ken. I just saw a sign that said, if CM Punk loses, we riot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sign was there. No, it, it, it was a John Cena with you riot. I think it was from that match that he had with Bob Van Dam, though, back at, uh... ECW One Night Stand. He's talking about the run-up on this match. He did what he had to do to secure Punk a deal, but it didn't happen. Well, I just think there's a better way of going about the whole situation. But we'll find out soon enough. CM Punk is scaling the ropes. Oh, my gosh. We've seen some pretty intense hometown crowds over the years. Shawn Michaels in the 1997 Royal Rumble immediately comes to mind. Yeah. Every time we're in North Carolina, I'm going to go crazy for this player. The same can be said for Stone Cold Steve Austin in Texas. The entire country is dead. Oh, damn, it's the only person. Oh, damn, it's the only person. None of that compares to this tonight, Tom. See a punk is taking the Chicago crowd. I'm on it now. I like the way it's set up. I'm on it now. 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 I'm
Yeah. 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 Yeah
kick. What impact. He uses the ring of that move perfectly. John Cena is doing everything in his power to ensure the WWE Championship stays in WWE. No matter how much John Cena pushes, these fans will still back CM Punk in the end. Well, I think he has brainwashed these fans. And he may have brainwashed himself, too. Because when he walks out of here, suddenly no. he's on the oh. I mean, he may win. But yeah, Punk, I guess paychecks are overrated. Now listen, King, I've been the most ardent supporter of CM Punk throughout his career. Elbow, right? elbow, come on, Cena. Down. Stay down, Cena. Cena. Submission hold. I guess he's done with that one. Yeah, but what's he gonna do next? Oh, come on, Cena. No, come on, Punk. Capitalize on this, he can't. He's glitching. No! Resilient T. Kicks out. I like the way the kickouts look this year. And this year, uh, I've been playing as John Cena a little. And when you, uh, when you're John Cena, you do the FU, you actually pin him right away. You can do that this year. I'm pretty happy about that. When you pin him. Oh wait, I can't pin him. I have to win by. I have to perform Here the GTS first. Oh, that did it! Oh my gosh, look at that! Look! Oh. Just tossing him to the ground. Back in control. Uh -oh. Get up, Cena! I'm gonna put you to sleep. Do I have him? Do I have him? Got him. See if what I've unlocked out of that, and I unlocked and, and I got an achievement. My achievement is actually wait. Hold on. Home. 
what would WWE do? That question was answered the next night on Raw, when an eight-man tournament was set up to crown a new WWE champion. It is indeed a momentous night on Monday Night Raw. We will crown a new WWE champion. And it's Miz versus Rey Mysterio. Mysterio, hit it! No! Not this way! Just when you thought things were falling into place, WWE COO had an announcement. Tonight, for the first time ever, we are going to have a second WWE Championship match right here on Raw. It will be the brand new WWE Champion, Rey Mysterio, defending against John Cena! All right, I'm gonna prove that it's a uh, no, uh, that it's on legend. But I actually did turn it on legend. You saw me, so you. Know, I don't really need to go prove it. Let me see what the achievement I unlocked is though while it's loading. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes Rey Mysterio. John Cena never got his rematch clause, so when he lost at the CM Punk at Money in the Bank 2011. And the funny thing is, I want to kind of mention about CM Punk. He just wonder why he doesn't look that good in the game. Remember, CM Punk quit the WWE. He doesn't have any interest in wrestling, so the WWE had to make do with what they had. They didn't really have a lot of options here. So it's not like they, you know, I can't really blame him, I guess. They didn't really have a lot of options. Yeah, uh, John Cena. A huge ovation here tonight for John Cena. What a difference a few weeks makes. A couple of weeks ago in Chicago, Cena got booed. Yeah, and of course, Michael, we're not allowed to mention the individual's name who won the WWE title that night and then walked out. Funny thing is, that's what happened today. He walked out, so... And then uh, the end of it, uh, and they didn't even like to mention him when he did when CM when he, when CM Punk did walk out. Okay, this is our main event. Now I have the damage Rey Mysterio model in here. I think Rey Mysterio should have some damage to the fact that he just went to a. Because that night he had to face the face the Miz in the finals in a tournament. I think Rey Mysterio should have some damage on him. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is on legend mode, guys. Oh. 
his most recent reign came in April 2009 when he defeated Edge for the title at the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. And on that same night, Rey Mysterio embarrassed JBL in under a minute to claim the Intercontinental oh, he's Champion. Oh, he's unlike. It happened to a nice guy. You were right about that. Unlike Rey Mysterio, John Cena has the benefit of being in his first match of the evening. Indeed, it's a fresh John Cena against new WWE Champion. All right. Come on, John. Oh, I forgot. I was going to check the achievement. Let me check the achievement real quick. The achievement that I got. I got two. The second savior. The second city savior card. So, two case. Complete hustle, loyalty, disrespect. Um, from July 17th, 2011. Money in the Bank on Han, Ohio. So, it is on a uh, legend mode. That proves it. Tonight. Yeah, but you know, in order to win the title, Cena will have to pin Rey Mysterio or make him submit, which will be no easy task, regardless of how fresh Cena is. John Cena with a nice reversal. Wow, what a hit scissor. Allow me to test your WWE. I should mention too that Rey Mysterio is no longer in the WWE the either because. He lost interest in the WWE because I kept it. I think he kept getting injured too many times. So what happened was, uh, oh shit. So what happened was, uh, he went to a company called AAA Mexico. He went to AAA in New Mexico. Another vile, nasty fist drop. Nicely avoided there. And just tossing into the ground. I tried to change it up that time. Oh. Alright, so now I have to perform the five knuckle shuffle. The most prestigious prize in all sports entertainment. And both of these superstars have such a great respect for the WWE Championship and for the action in between them and the WWE Universe. Dang, I got a question for you. It's actually a lot easier this year. Oh, Rey Mysterio caught me in a power slam. That's not, that's not supposed to happen. It's Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero from Halloween Havoc 1997. Remember that? Yeah, 15 years later now, both of their names are permanently active in history as WWE Champions. Congratulations to Rey Mysterio and his family. Right, I do the five minutes of proudly mentioned his son Dominic and his daughter Aliyah earlier tonight. They're proud of their father, Come on. as are we. Rey Mysterio won the WWE title for the first time earlier tonight, and now he's defended it for the first time against John Cena. Oh, and I can't think Damn of it, I lost my signature. In his first match as WWE Champion. John Cena is the most controversial athlete in the history of the WWE. Whether you love this guy or you despise him. <laughs> oh, I hit it right. Oh, well. Uh, we ghost. Elbow. Well, oh, that looks good. I mean, there is nothing like seeing somebody go flying through the air. Oh, no! Oh! And he catches that one. Huh? Oh! Doing whatever it takes to win. Oh, no! Lost it open. I feel this might, this might be my chance. Oh, Mysterio gets knocked silly. <laughs> can't take Five knuckle shuffle time. Come on, this has got to be my chance. 
God, I know. I got to perform the attitude adjustments. Oh, what, what, what? Now I'm going to perform it again and then my pinfall. Titans on the CM Punk, so I should mention that. And this is when he just debuted this show. So this is when he just got this song. And the funny thing was, the day this it happened on my uh friend, my best friend Steve Ezekiel's birthday. Because his birthday is on July 25th, 1995. So doing the math if you want to know how old Steve Ezekiel is. But yeah, this happened on his birthday. And now the funny thing was, is we got two WWE champions. Now I'm not really in the trash what's wrong with the storyline, because there is stuff wrong with the Summer of Punk storyline. But, uh, because I, if you want to just see me crash it, go on another video and see it. But yeah, this is when we got two WWE champions. The, the, the one that CM Punk won on Money in the Bank, and the one that John Cena just won. Now in real life, John Cena didn't leave the ring. In real life, they stayed facing off against each other. I don't know why they did that. No. No achievement though. That's kind of a shame. Up next, CM Punk comes back to WWE to be the voice of the voiceless and to be the true WWE champion. I don't really like the way that picture looks, but they probably didn't have a lot to work with. For the first time ever, there are two WWE champions. Triple, Triple H sets up a match at SummerSlam to decide who the true champion really is. To make sure there was only one champion, Triple H makes himself the special guest referee. Yeah, see, I just do not like the way these pictures look. It, the first one you saw, uh, CM Punk, now you see... Uh, CM Punk and John Cena standing in the room with Triple H and his shit. These pictures just suck. So, yeah, uh, here comes up next, though. Here comes 
with the left. Comes. Here comes Triple H, the special guest referee for this match. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a snack. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your special guest referee for this next match, the Chief Operating Officer of the WWE, Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, Triple H is the chief operating officer of the WWE, and he has put himself in charge of perhaps the most important match in WWE history. Yeah, when they came in there, we are guaranteed that at the end of the match, there will only be one undisputed WWE champion. Now, to be fair, this was uh, the first time, um, like, Triple H had just become the COO. Really, he was backstage, but he, this was the first time. Triple H was the CEO on, t on screen, so I want to mention that. And another thing was, uh, yeah, the winner would become the new undisputed WWE Champion, so. And uh, this match just happened to be a thing. I'm going to get my snack real quick, though. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your special guest referee for this Yeah, Triple H's own music, the uh, music I'm used to. I like this other music too, though. See, I've come to some very controversial things about Triple H and his family, but Triple H claims that he's going to call this matchup down the middle here tonight. I just can't imagine. Say the type of thing that Hunk said to the guy that's about to murder your title match. CM Punk, this is when, uh, he didn't give a shit though what he, what he said. He said whatever came to his mind, which, I, which was something I really liked. That CM Punk was pretty shit to the This is the one that he won. Now I think CM Punk was the actual one, because John Cena's you may not know it, but his was a little bit different uh, in your life. I think Cena's was smaller and CM Punk was bigger. Here comes the other champion. Championship. 
Cena. Come on, I gotta get him. Oh, I gotta do more. You know, when John Cena was growing up in West Newbury, Massachusetts, he dreamed of one day becoming a WWE champion. Much like his childhood idol, Hulk Hogan. You know, ironically, Kane Punk was a huge fan of Rowdy Roddy Piper, who Hogan squared off against in a tag team match in the first ever WrestleMania. And you know, speaking of Hulk Sit down, how about my Cena? Come on, get up, Punk. Oh. Into the WWE Hall of Fame. And you would have to think that both of these superstars might very well find themselves in the Hall of Fame one day as well. Get up, Cena. Suicide reversed it again. Cena looking for something big. And this is going to return to the ring. John Cena with the offense. Oh, I'm going to do the full speech to him. And then we'll film the suicide now. Well, Triple H told me earlier this week that he admits he has only refereed a handful of matches in his entire career. And some might say that having Triple H's special referee is a conflict of interest, but at this point, it looks like he's calling it right down the middle. Yeah, I heard that. I gotta do that suicide dive. Officer making an arrest, and then that same officer also being the judge in the case. I'm going to cancel that. And he gets out of the way. And what a reversal from CM Punk. Oh, CM Punk is conjuring up some good momentum here. Whoa. No, I'm really good. I guess I still I got that moving, but I gotta get the that's not the yeah, move I need to get it. Come on. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be able to go. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Oh my god. That was an incredibly risky maneuver to the outside. That's totally it. It's his performance. Suicide dive. And we're going back between the ropes. What the fuck? He's about to get a suicide dive. What the fucking glitch? An exclusive interview on WWE.com. John Cena said he believes. Can he score the pin? Come on, fucking do a suicide dive. Sam Punk going for it. Damn it, folks. I should, that move should be fucking checked off. Why is it? There's the cover. Can he do it? Gonna do my finisher. I don't think so. That ain't happening. What a move! What a smart move! All right, now we're having. And you can hear the fans willing it onward. Oh, I could have done the suicide dive if I reversed that. Oh, and this one's spilling out of the room. Come on, get up. Wow! Back into the ring now. Wow. This is the right there. See him pump his down in. Big time impact. And he crashes down to the outside. Come on, suicide dive. It might be a little far, but too far. All the way to the outside. That's a suicide dive. Huge move. What makes a man even want to take a Guys are being like gay. That, that is a suicide dive. Yeah. Let me try something more quick. Back between the ropes. Oh. You know what this is. We'll try doing it this way. I guess it's an o oh, it's a, I guess it must be an OMG. I didn't know it was an OMG this year. I guess it was. I guess. So he has Undertaker's, so it, it's pretty much like doing it like the end. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, man! Oh,
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that he did this. All right, what do I do next? I have to. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Okay, I guess I have to defeat John Cena by pinfall, maybe. That should do it right there. I can't see. I couldn't even see that because of the thing was in the way. Wow. After all that time, it took me to do that. To the way that he has in his words, That's gay. Yeah. The, the way that he's got about bringing change. Yeah, because of his approach, this company now has two champions for the first time ever. Hey, can you believe it's WWE champion versus WWE champion? Is that a practice of a full-time world champion? A two-time Money in the Bank ladder match winner. And the only superstar to win that match up two years in a row. John Cena is an 11-time champion and has won more WWE titles than anyone in history. You know, Michael, when Cena Punk left the WWE last month, I assumed we would never see him again. Especially considering all the defamatory things he said against the McMahons during his pipe bomb speech. Yeah. Speaking of Punk's pipe bomb, didn't he call Triple H the doofus son-in-law of Mr. McMahon? Yeah. That's what makes this whole thing so shocking. It was actually Triple H who re-signed Punk. Now he's having a fight. But that's so gay, I watched that last one. I was kicking his ass too. Every single person in the arena is on their feet. How could they not be? It's the biggest match in SummerSlam history. Oh man, who's going to win this thing? Who knows? Okay, this is the third straight year that SummerSlam has been in LA. Fuck this. At least it's in the ring. WWE's most historic moments for sure, including Michael, WrestleMania 21. Getting back to WrestleMania 21 for a moment, that event marked the first official kickoff of the John Cena era. It was there that Cena defeated JBL to become WWE champion for the first time. And our special guest referee for this match, Triple H, was also in a high profile encounter yeah. at WrestleMania 21. Oh, Remember when he put his World Heavyweight Championship on the line against the Adam Holtz Batista? You know the way I see it, Michael. Neither of these competitors want to make a mistake early in this match. It could prove to be possible. This might, might very well hinge on a mistake that one of these oh, guys makes along the line. Last time these two met, it was a back and forth contest. Expect more to say here tonight. Yeah, but even though these two have squared off the board, there's even more on the line tonight. And these two have never faced a pressure like this at any point in their career. Everything is on the line here tonight. Everything. You know, I don't remember a time when there was this much controversy surrounding the WWE Championship. Well, you, well perhaps once, and that would be in 1997 at Survivor Series when Shawn Michaels beat Bret Hart for the title of Montreal. Oh, you're yeah, right. But at least with the Montreal yeah. screw job, we had one champion, and we knew who that champion was. This is Tony Kane. And at the end of the night, Tony Kane will once again have one undisputed WWE Champion. Elbow. Many people okay, now he's going to be pulling the suicide dive again. Company man, John Cena, versus the ultimate rebel, CM Punk. Yeah, but you have to remember how John Cena... Wow, I better kick out of this. So we just oh. an exclusive interview on Daddy Duck. Show him who's there. Damn it. History. I should have even lost the first match. CM Punk has been celebrated by many for his outspoken approach in the way that he has in his words caused change in the WWE. On the other hand, he's been vilified by many for the way that he's got about bringing change. Yet because of his approach, this company now has two champions for the first time ever. Hey, can you believe it's WWE champion versus WWE champion? CM Punk is a four-time world champion. A two-time money in the bank ladder match winner. And the only superstar to win that matchup two years in a row. John Cena is an 11-time champion and has won more WWE titles than anyone in history. You know, I don't remember a time when there was this much controversy. Oh, shit. WWE championship. Come on, come on, Punk. Right out of this. Right out of this. 
they will once again have one neck wake up WWE champion and he hits the neck breaker Elbow in the head. Light damage. Neither of these competitors want to make a mistake early in this match. It could prove to be costly. This might very well hinge on a mistake that one of these guys makes along the line. Last time these two met, it was a back and forth contest. Expect more to say here tonight. Yeah, but even though these two have squared off the board, there's even more on the line tonight. And these two men have never faced a pressure like this at any point in their career. Everything is on the line here tonight. Everything. Oh! He gets out of trouble there. Oh man, right on the button. And Cena goes down. Suplex. John Cena with a nice reversal. Oh! Great reversal. John Cena. Let me see if maybe this, target, oh, this next move to the head can hold him. Okay, suicide dive time. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. Keep your eye on this one. Whoa, whoa! What was that? Oh, he speaks to me. I know how to do the suicide dive this time. I should have took up most of the time. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, Cena's got him. Oh, Cena's got him. Oh, Cena's got him. All right, this time I'll skip the cut scene because you've seen it once and you don't need to see it again. I proved to you though that it is on legend mode. Oh, man. This is how I lost last time. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Well, the WWE Universe I don't know what I have to do now. I guess I'll just win my pinball. Every single person in this arena is on their feet. How could they not be? It's the biggest match in SummerSlam history. Oh, man. Who's going to win this thing? Who knows? Can you combine these two superstars to help the WWE Universe? Probably win him. He's got him. He's got him. No, he doesn't. Cena stays in. Incredible. The resilience of Cena. I don't know. Now. I don't know how much more damage the VA you can pinball. take. Oh, okay. Lose that press. Ouch! And what a reversal from CM Punk. Oh! Uh, put your lights out quick. A sharp elbow drop. Come on, Cena. Come on, come on, Punk. I'm Punk. And John Cena gains momentum in this match. And he reversed it. Good move there. Here we go, Park. Uh oh. What is Sam Park going to do here? Oh, oh, he got him. I got him like no, when you go so high risk, risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting the pin. Oh, oh, he John has to be Cena open this has time. been busted open. Oh, what? Does he have his eyes open? Well, I, I meant to say uh, he has to be on critical this time. He thinks he has it. Look out! Look out! He doesn't have a signature. He might have it right here. Nope. Oh, wait. Is it? Is it this it? I'm gonna kick out of that. I'm gonna have to do the elbow drop. Oh, I'm not sure it's the best time I played all this. He was one step ahead on that one. Cena's in trouble. We got a cover. And here's John 
Cena. Like that was not too fast. Gosh. And this has got to be it. He anticipated that move perfectly. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Whoa. And no, he won. There's the pin. Can it get an air fall? This could do it. Yeah, that's devastating. There's the reversal from CM Punk. CM Punk gathering attention in a hurry. I think I need to go for that move. Oh, that did it. I got a team in unlocked. I unlocked. Excellent. Excellent. Execution. Attack every body part at least once using the one target system. Good achievement. Which is the other one. Yeah, Punk is scaling the ropes. Which is counting. I forgot he had the catch finisher. Oh my John Cena! With the cover! One! Here comes Cena Punk. Go to sleep time. I just won my pin call, yes. He's not going to be doing this now, so if I lose... Shoulders down! And the Raiders have won! Another man! I'm going to win! See the high spot on the rope, Ken! I saw that! But I think Triple H did not see that! Here is your winner, and undefeated WWE Champion, C.N. See a punk, the undefeated champion, man! Oh, we're not gonna do it. Player one is now Del Rio. He beats the Punk via pinfall. How easy did he kick out of that? He's all red. What's his signature and stuff, by the way? Uh, corner step up into Gurley and pump, stump power driver. God, 
got him. Wall up. Wall up works. I never really was a fan of Alberto Del Rio. He always was kind of boring to me. Well, not in 2011. I liked him as a face too, but just when he was fighting Sheamus for the world title, I didn't like him, and I didn't like him at the end of his run. I, I just, just never really. I really didn't give a shit when he got released. I really didn't give a shit when Alberto Del Rio was gone. I really didn't. Know. Then I'm going to play that match right now. SummerSlam, um, and it's gonna lead somewhere, and I'll tell you, and uh, you're gonna find out soon enough. I'm not gonna really tell you yet. So what happened was uh, we were having uh, some promo time, and our brother Del Rio's gonna watch. He's gonna sit there like the dirty Mexican that he is. And I'm not racist against Mexicans. I'm only racist against our brother Del Rio. I mean, our brother Del Rio should have just been in, in the taco truck just making tacos. And our brother Del Rio is that dog. The 
funny thing is, I'll, you want know what the funny thing is? Is uh, at SummerSlam, both John Cena and CM Punk were WWE champion, but then right now here, none of them are the WWE champion. Alberto Del Rio is. I'll be right back. I need to get a drink because my mouth is dry because I just ate some of these uh, sour cream and onion chips. Back. I really need that drink. Brain freeze. Alright. So tell me to do it. So now I'm playing as John Cena this time. You should tell, you should call it, can you tell to them that the hunt should be right there? Oh, right in the face. You may have beat me twice, but I want to beat you this time. But yeah, CM Punk and Kevin Nash have been having like a fallout. What happened was, um, CM Punk and Kevin Nash had a competition the night after SummerSlam. And, uh, the funny thing is, uh, CM Punk pulled out a text and from his sister and he said, Hey, is that Kevin Nash? LOL, I thought he was dead. That was awesome. So they've been having some, like, conflict as of late. And John Laurinaitis, the executive vice president of internal relations, has been playing a big role in this as well. Um, and uh, John Cena's had some uh, conflicts a little bit with Alberto Del Rio because he does because the night after um, he doesn't like the way that Alberto Del Rio cashed in the Money in the Bank contract. Um, and um, what, and uh, the night after, when, remember when I beat Rey Mysterio? You saw me do the when I did the John Cena Rey Mysterio match. And you saw me doing that earlier tonight. Well, then Rey Mysterio had his rematch clause the night after, and um, he lost. And afterwards, Delio continued to assault Rey Mysterio. So then, what happened was um, John Cena came out and saved him, and he just kind of went off on him. And now, um, they, and then led to this match. They both think that they should have a shot against uh, a better Delio for the uh, WWE Undisputed Championship. Yeah, that's right. And as a result of Del Rio's dastardly attack, Mysterio now needs something. They just talked about the way Mysterio thing. Oh, punk. The WWE Universe determines who the real heroes in the ring are, and hopefully whoever wins this match up here tonight... Oh, I just ambushed your background and down. Punk has been the most popular superstar in this organization for quite some time now. Well, I'd say so ever since June. Oh. Mr. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'll tell you, I don't know how many comic books CM Punk has in his collection, but I do know this. He has enough oh, shit. He's on my legs. Legs. to start his own comic book store. I mean, he's running out of space for new tattoos. See with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sad. <laughs> Boom. Of course, nobody can forget the mistake by guest referee Triple H in the SummerSlam matchup that cost John Cena the WWE Championship. Yeah, but you know what? To his credit, Cena didn't cry about Triple H missing his foot on the rope at SummerSlam. Yeah. It was human error. And he can make up for it here tonight against CM Punk. Alberto Del Rio wasted no time cashing in his money. Oh, he doesn't have it in because this isn't back in the casino. I was trying to do that. No finish that we had. You know, but he doesn't have it in the casino. The only superstar that has cashed it in sooner has been Jack Swagger. And performing at and now I have to perform an attitude adjustment on the punch. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. I've seen a referee's hand come to hit a three, struggling for control. And here comes the big slam. And what a reversal from CM Punk. Oh no! Oh! You can't do it now. And everybody's like, oh shit, I can't do my signature now. But now he can probably do his finisher. Oh, don't get up. No way, nigga. No way, dude. Oh, oh no. This is never good. That's it. He's done. Triple H is right away in SummerSlam. It's just one example of the problem. I want to reverse that. And follow him and get a chop. What? Oh, it's too late. Champions to meet Alberto Del Rio for the WWE title. Uh, and with your background down. My amateur background styles are just showing off. Wow, 
I can't believe it's reversed. Oh, mama! And he reversed it! Good move there! Oh, it's Paul Oh, God! I forgot, he, I forgot you have to get out of the pin. I like how the puncher sounds like the guy who actually punched me. I know his last name really sounds like that. And the chair, wait till you hear what the chair sounds like. I mean, he's chair here. Over the past month and a half. Yeah, well, if you can do it again tonight, 
then I'll admit he's that good. Another one with the background. Yeah, we'll before we look at attitude size. adjustment. Oh yeah, this could be big. Uh-oh, Cena's going for the deep. Uh-oh. Oh, Del Rio. Oh, and look at Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio assaulting Cena. Attacking Cena. Look at this brutal beatdown now by Alberto Del Rio and the number one contender. Now, Del Rio trying to send a message to John Cena here tonight. Cena, I don't think he knows where he is, Ken. Oh, look out. Oh, shit. Oh, right to the back of the head. I saw that made Del Rio look really strong, actually. It was fine. It was my destiny to be the WWE champion. I want to represent every one of you. This match is over. With respect. This is not the mark of a true champion. With honesty. I'm going to wait for a champion to act. I am a real champion.
doing the match between John Cena and Alberto Del Rio from Night of Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about the WWE Championship. The most coveted prize in sports entertainment since 1963. And John Cena, the talent, has held the title a record nine times. This is Phil Michael Cole, too, by the way. So Michael Cole is going to be defending the heels a lot. So that was kind of out there, too. He almost took his head off with a Larry. Ladies and gentlemen, Alberto Del Rio passed the WWE title last night when he successfully passed in his Money in the Bank contract. I thought that Del Rio's first WWE championship game was fucking bad. It's been already been laid out by Kevin Nash. And speaking of Kevin Nash, he won the very same title Del Rio and Cena are fighting for. The WWE championship back in the mid-1990s when he was competing. Look at what Del Rio talks about is his destiny. Bob Backlund for the gold in a match that lasted a mere eight seconds. He then went on to hold the title for an amazing 358 days. And there's the reversal. And here's John Cena. Like, boom, drop. And that was a hard, hard shot. I'm not even shot. trying. You can't see that down here. I guess. He's letting his fist do the talking. And a wicked clothesline. Great move. If John Cena wins here tonight, he'll extend his already record number of WWE championships to 10. And you know that's on top of his two World Heavyweight Championship reign. Cena truly has one of the most historic championship histories of all time. It's and let's not forget that John Cena is also a former three-time United States champion. At this point, Kane, I figured that you quick of the list of titles Cena hasn't won. I think you're right. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena in his never say die attitude. Oh, you're right about that. This match is truly emblematic of Night of Champions. What we're finishing <coughs> <coughs> here tonight is great. Alberto Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will replace legacies with his destiny. At this point, though, he's going to have to get through what looks like a very determined John Cena. All right, that's right. Cena with a textbook counter. Now, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. You know, it's no surprise that Alberto Del Rio is as good as he is in the ring. After all, he has the wrestling business literally flowing through his veins. That's right, King Del Rio is an happy to get no masters and the son of the famous luchador, Dos Carlos. And by the way, I've been told that Dos Carlos shares the same bloodline with Spanish royals Ferdinand and Isabel. I guess that makes Alberto Del Rio royalty. In addition to being the first ever Mexican born WWE champion. Hey, royalty, come on, that's me. Oh, John Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's got to be taking its toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena or Alberto Del Rio? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. He'll do everything he can to give himself yeah, to the WWE title. title. And here's John Cena. Nice dodge there. Here we go with John Cena. John Cena making a move. Michael Hyde now. Oh, man! Yeah, I'm going Hyde. Oh, He's not going to get me like this. I love this emotion from the WWE Universe. And you know John Cena loves the diverse reaction he gets as well. He actually feeds off of no yeah, superstar in history has received the emotional yeah. response for his matches the way that John Cena has. He's probably the most provocative superstar we've ever had in WWE. Cena reversal. 
this is it. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. He drops the elbow. Oh, this is dangerous right here. I've done this movie at one. by John Cena. Oh, did you see the next snapback? Knocked down. What a shot. You hear how his 
should do it right there. Oh, that was a signature. Oh, at least I picked out of it. Right here. Oh, Damn it! I was kicking his ass and then I lost. Try again. At least it doesn't show them winning. I can't believe John Cena sold out for Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car. And drove it out I was taking his ass, and then he was just going to need it to hit. $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. Oh, right between the eyes. Nice reversal there. John Cena with a nice reversal. Alberto Del Rio's path to the WWE yeah. Championship, which he claims was his destiny, started this past summer when he won the Money in the Bank briefcase. And to capture that briefcase, Del Rio had to outlast seven other superstars. Listen to this list. The Miz, Jack Swagger, Ray Mysterio, Kofi Kingston, Alex Riley, R. Truth, and Kevin Bourne. Yeah, pretty impressive. But getting back to the Money in the Bank ladder match, given Del Rio's amateur background and strong back presence, I wouldn't have necessarily taken him as an accomplished ladder match competitor, but he was amazing in it. Surprisingly, it's not always the high flyers who win ladder matches. Last year alone, we had Kane and Jack Swagger win Money in the Bank ladder matches. Needless to say, yeah. neither of those competitors are known for their aerial attacks, especially not Swagger. Slam, you know. Just six days ago on Raw, we were treated to a very special tag team match when the legendary Red Hit Man Hart team with John Cena to take on Alberto Del Rio and Ricardo Rodriguez. Yeah, it's too bad that Del Rio wasn't around to see much of it. He hightailed it, leaving his personal ring announcer to take the front of the punishment about nice. Monday's tag match. Yes, it would have been nice to see Alberto Del Rio actually compete in the match, but at the same time, I think the champ is simply playing mind games. Why is he making Cena wait until time? Yeah, and making Ricardo Rodriguez suffer through an attitude adjustment and a sharpshooter. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena and his never safe die attitude. Oh, you're right about that. This match is truly emblematic. Of Night of Champions. What we're witnessing here tonight is great. Alberto Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will replace legacies with his destiny. At this point, though, he's going to have to get through what looks like a very determined John Cena. Oh, that's right. Alberto Del Rio says he wants to represent the people in the WWE title with respect, oh, honesty, man. and passion. What? Respect, honesty, and well, passion? Come, come on, on, give me a break, Cole. Oh. His actions are more like an arrogant bully than anything else. King, you really believe he's arrogant? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty hard to see him. I'm not like him. It's probably pretty hard to hide him. Okay, I'll give you that. But you cannot deny that he's a bully. I mean, just look at what he's doing to Rey Mysterio and Chris. His cross arm breaker has unnecessarily nearly ended their career. Yeah. Oh, John Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's got to be taking a toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which fan will continue the hair. Like WWE title. Will it be John Cena or yeah. Alberto Del Rio? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. Let's say, why wasn't it this easy the last time? Because there's always a catch. Uh, 
trying to hold on to the ropes. I don't get it. I hold on to the ropes. I don't get it. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. He gets out of trouble there. Wow. What a shot. Oh, and that's why you never trade punches with Cena. Bust it open, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Lights out. Oh, that's because I didn't even say I could be both for some time. Finally goes to finish here. It's supposed to be a key Look at this. This could be it. And then he gets to the left. Ah, oh, I didn't think it was this. I didn't even think it was that close. Here we go with John Cena. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. He saw that one coming. Oh, I can reverse this. See, sometimes telling yourself no what you can do doesn't always work. Sometimes you can't. This year alone. He won the largest Royal Rumble in history, 40 men. Well, at least it won't be all too bad. He won the Flamingo ladder match. It cashed it in to win the WWE title. And Del Rio forced Edge to retire and injured Rey Mysterio. Well, you're right. For being at WWE for a relatively short amount of time, it's unbelievable how much Alberto Del Rio has accomplished. Simply put. Gabriel is having one of the greatest years in WWE history. John Cena with a nice reversal. Come on, buddy. He reverses all of them. Or am I like... Again, 
I can't believe John Cena is doing our Puerto Rico Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. This is just a joyride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. And he reversed it. Good call there. And did you hear the impact on that kick? I would one last time when it was too close to the Wolves. He was one step ahead on that one. The last time the WWE Championship changed hands here at Buffalo was back in December of 2008 when Jeff Hardy defeated champion Edge Come on. and Triple H in a triple threat match at Armageddon to capture the title. That is actually yeah, the nice only try, other buddy. time Buffalo's title change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, like he won't do anything in the beginning, but then he gets extremely hard. He pretty much won't want to hit me like all the necessary ones I need to hit. Mark Henry is an absolute beast. Oh, he's been 15 years, but he finally won the world championship. Congratulations to the world's strongest man. Oh, the reversal. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. I was going to say, yeah, nice trick, baby. Fucking oh. succeeded. Now I'm going to try Ladies and gentlemen, Alberto Del Rio captured the WWE title last month when he successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank contract against CM Punk at SummerSlam. Yeah, but don't forget, Punk had already been laid out by Kevin Nash. And speaking of Kevin Nash, he held the very same title Del Rio and Cena are fighting for the WWE Championship back in the mid-1990s when he was competing as Diesel. Well, you're right. He beat the legendary Bob Backlund for the gold in a match that lasted a mere eight seconds. He then went on to hold the title for an amazing 358 Damn. days. Albert. Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena in his never oh. safe guy attitude. Are oh, you right about that? This match is truly emblematic of Night of Champions. What we're witnessing here tonight is great. Albert Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will replace legacies with his destiny. At this point, though, he's going to have to get through what looks like a very determined John Cena. Oh, that's right. Oh, Just six days ago on the Raw, we were treated right to a very special tag team match with the legendary Red Hitman Hart team with John Cena to take on Alberto Del Rio and Ricardo this. Rodriguez. Yeah, it's too bad that Del Rio oh, wasn't around to see much of it. He leaving his personal ring announcer to take a look at the fight about Monday's tag match. Yes, it would have been nice to see Alberto Del Rio actually compete in the match, but at the same time, I think the champ is simply playing mind games. Why? Why is he making Cena wait until tonight? Yeah, and okay. making Ricardo okay. Rodriguez suffer through an attitude adjustment okay. and a sharp shoot. See, I've been thinking about that, but I can't. Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's got to be taking a toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena or Alberto Del Rio? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. He'll do everything he can to give integrity to the WWE title. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, take him. Got it right here. John Cena could do it. I thought it was a motion from the WWE Universe. And you know John Cena loves the reverse reaction he gets as well. He actually feeds off of no superstar in history. The emotional response for his matches the way that John Cena has. He's probably the most provocative superstar we've ever had in WWE. Oh, the reversal okay, by like John Cena. Cena. Good use. Here we go, Kevin. Let's reverse. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Big kick. Echoing around the arena. Keep your eye on Cena. I can totally he beat him right now. You hear how his 
Strip connected. Why can't I get my signature? He's not just taking so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. And of course he reverses it. That's it, you're getting to the area. That's it, you know. Because you said, because you're using resiliency, why not do the rest of it now? What a kick that was. I do the STF now, so you can't do it later on. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent, and that could be what we're seeing here. It didn't even let me reverse that. Wow. I never like win in the end and like get inside the one unless you put them to the table. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. Oh, the nation had to like that one. There's no question that Alberto Gallo is the real deal. Look at what he's accomplished this year alone. He won the largest Royal Rumble in history, 40 men. Alberto Del Rio, of course, was in the main event at WrestleMania. He won the Money in the Bank ladder match. He passed it to win the WWE title. And Del Rio forced Edge to retire and injured Rey Mysterio. Well, you're right. We're being the thing of this beat. Must be weak enough for him to do this. Come on, he's in a match. And that was a huge power. He must take his head off for that Larry. See, I actually had to finish it right there. Oh, well, at least. Yeah, I'm getting on this. Great hole being applied. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. Now he gets high right here. I should be able to do the five knuckle shuffle. You know, perfect spot. The problem is that I don't know what. Oh, he's got him down. Oh, he's got him down. Oh, he's got him down. Why don't we hit it this time? That's bad. There we go. Now he can't use his resiliency for the STFU. He just he lost. It took me a while, but I get it. I'm going to play one more match, and then I'm going to turn it off. I have the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. Who's really pulling the strings? Is it you? Is it your bean-headed wife? You don't wear the pants in the family. But you do wear her panties, don't you? You've disrespected me as a man. Now, deal with me as a man. So at Night of Champions, no disqualification, punk. Anything goes. Not if, but when. I beat you. You decide. CLO of WWE. Done. They actually played the... This, that's the song that Adam usually uses when he makes his guy. I don't know if he... Usually he uses that song, so the funny thing is, is they played his theme song. So this is my last match.
total contest set for one ball is a no disqualification match. Injuries first from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 222 pounds, six and hook. Earlier tonight, ladies and gentlemen, John Cena defeated Alberto Del Rio to become a 10 time WWE champion. Oh, yes, and listen to this crowd. Oh, man, they're excited. But we haven't seen excitement yet. Wait till this thing explodes. And then you can see CM Punk, I just did here his Ice Cream Boss t-shirt. Because uh, he wanted his uh, WWE Ice Cream Boss. And now he's got his WWE Ice Cream Boss. Ryan Jackson get him. And now they're probably not going to give him to us since CM Punk had asked him to. And you notice that he asked Justin Roberts has been in special care. And JBL and Michael Cole have been in real life for this match, so uh, Booker T was also on commentary for uh, this pay per view. I mean, this is like some good stuff, the ice cream bars. Uh, this was one of like the best built up feats in a while. Like, this was a build up, was like awesome. I get to go fight so him. It says damage punk moderately. Oh. Now let's get a chair shot. Well, when it comes. I want to be the one to show you guys. Right? Let's listen to this chair shot. That chair shot sounds so sick. You can actually hear the chair shot. And it's something I want to mention. Uh, Nia Champions 2011 was the first time, well, actually, it was really Money in the Bank 2011, but Nia Champions 2011, I, uh, lost it at, uh, like, stepmom's, like, best friend's house, and she, he's, like, uh, really into wrestling, so, uh, the step sound really sick, too, by the way, so, uh, I, uh, yeah. and, uh, yeah, so I, uh, just started watching it with, uh, Adam, with Adam and his friend Cam and all that stuff. Ooh. Or he's on light. Oh shit. Oh, there you go. oh crap. Oh!
Mikey going to the table, and he didn't go to the table. He would have, though. I have a feeling they're going to need the table for later, though. You're going to see what I mean. He's not exactly hopping up to his feet here. What hard shot to the guy. And Snow first into the chair. Oh, that should do it. I don't like the bell in this game. You hold the bell awkwardly. Watch how you go to hit him. Oh, you, well, did you see that? Oh, man. Like you hold it really awkwardly. Like, it's kind of like glitching this game. See? The bell is glitched it looks like. It doesn't look that bad. I think it just takes some getting used to. I think the thing is you actually put your hand through the hole. You didn't do that the last game. You know, seeing Triple H and Kevin Nash's friendship disintegrate the way it has in recent weeks. Oh wow! I need to the last second. There's no DQ matches or something. Damn it! No, you didn't take up the right thing. Station, what we see now. I don't know, but I Alright, so now I gotta perform the category. I don't think it really says what to do, so I just uh, throw that all out there for this. Got it! I guess I have to do it in the wing. It doesn't say that, though. So. But to get that change, he's going to have to go through what looks to be a very determined Triple H. Speaking of change, Triple H said he would give it to Punk, but not before kicking his butt first. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Although I think I need somebody to tell me what a skinny fat ass is. Here we go with Triple H. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? are so dangerous. Oh, his body has to be broken right. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was going to get leveled there. Come on. Oh. I got a punk like a bloody mess. I'm kicking his ass. Right to the gut. Drops the chair. DDT. A Rob kicked me, but he couldn't do it because I had the steps in my hand. He's helpless. All that money with those steps right across his hand. Get up, Hulk. Oh! An extreme DDT. Thanks for coming. Suck it. There's all sorts of crazy stuff under the ring. Oh! Can't you see that? You two have met. I'll take my sledgehammer back. Cause fly. Playing for the fences with that sledgehammer. And he gets back in the ring. And be careful with that thing. Oh wow! He does it again. He sees it. Time for his fifth finisher. Nope, alternate one. I guess the oh yeah. He's looking at it. Okay, I better reverse this. I think I will. And I did. Oh, nice counter. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. I mean, Punk, if you want to, why didn't I get the finisher? Let's gay. 
to another man. Now I'm just gonna taunt. See a puck making a move. What a reversal! He picks the switch! Which they didn't let me do. Triple H looks hurt. Triple H did a great job of turning that around. Triple H making a move. Hunt turns it around. Uh, Hunt can change the outlook of a match in an instant. Come on, come on, goodness. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what my friend at Adam's friend today. Boom! It does. That does actually work. Okay. Oh, here it comes. This is gonna be it. Oh man! This is over. And Punk stays alive. What? I didn't see a Punk kick out of the game pedigree. This is amazing. What a match! I should mention that Kevin Nash was supposed to face him. Now they perform a pedigree of Kevin Nash. It's time for you to get back in and get it on. Punk sidesteps that one. Yeah, just when you think you have Punk right where you want it. And Triple H with a reversal. Now that's because the game has a hit for getting out of trouble, Paul. Triple H has been out of the ring action for a while. And nothing can prepare for a match like this. All hands now. I'm gonna use all my hands. I did the team we don't want to do the new It's gonna be all hands now, Punk. But yeah, Kevin Nash was supposed to be a CM Punk component. This that was the match that was supposed to happen at Night of Champions. But what happened was um What happened was the board of directors canceled it and made CM Punk vs. Triple H instead. In fact, Kevin Nash actually was suspended from WWE, and its storyline purposes on the website, it said that Kevin Nash was released also from the WWE. Triple H with a all hands. All hands. You want to be like that? I was going to use all hands. Oh no! I was going to use all hands. But you asked for that. Oh, By the way, I have to perform the pedigree again and win my pedigree. Oh man, what a move! And by the way, I think the when Kevin Nash came out, I think the announcer's table was destroyed because CM Punk 
elbow the other two of them in life. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile. Oh, what a spike. I want to put him to the table before I do anything else. Oh, shit. Oh, I got that. And he gets tossed back in the ring. I ain't ending you yet. Man, this guy just bounced off the floor there. And there's a devastating kick to the It was going to be all hands. But you brought this upon yourself. It was going to be all hands. There was going to be no more weapons. Kevin Nash did this to you. You have to suffer this pain again. It was going to be all hands. Oh. It was going to be all hands. Get over here. Come on, get over here. Get over here. There's a lot of things under the ring. Punk, you're ruining yourself. You're hurting yourself. You did this to you. You did this. You should have been insulted, my wife. You should have insulted my wife. Open. Damn the reversal. When you look at the arrogance of CM Punk, I don't knock the guy for having beliefs, but I can't stand Wow, he does it right after I get off. I'm going to be weak enough yet though, because he hasn't hit shit, shit moves on me. Don't be gay. I'm going to finish her off the bat. Do you want to keep this going? You want to keep this going, huh? You want to keep this going? It's over, punk. Accept it. It's over! It's over! Shoulders down. Two. Three. It's over. I should make it to a real life that Miz, Archie, and John Laurinaitis also get a feed in this match. I should mention that. So Miz and Archie beat down both of them, and John Laurinaitis fall on the left, and, and when Triple H would have came then he, he, John Laurinaitis wouldn't let that happen. Okay, we're going to leave this another day. I will leave that to you another day, but I'm all done now. I've done my, I've done what I needed to do. I just got to wait for this to load. Oh, I only, um. I might go back to the timeline menu. Timeline. I'm all done for the day. I'm going to play this uh, tomorrow again. Okay. Back. Back. I'll show you everything that I have unlocked, though, for today. 
I unlocked Triple H's Knight of Champions 2011 attire. Rey Mysterio's War July 25th, 2011 attire, which is strange. I unlocked CM Punk's Money in the Bank 2011 attire. And CM Punk's SummerSlam 2011 attire. I unlocked CM Punk's Knight of Champions 2011 attire. John Cena's Money in the Bank 2011 attire. Alberto Del Rio's SummerSlam 2011 attire. Alberto Del Rio's Money in the Bank 2011 attire. And I unlock John Moore Knight is the Executive Vice President of Talent Relations. Did I unlock anything? I unlock the Royal Arena from two, 2011. The Money in the Bank Arena from 2011. The SummerSlam Arena from 2011. The Knight of Champions Arena from 2011. And that's it. So I will be back um, tomorrow to give you another Let's Play of the 2K Showcase mode. But let's let this save. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll be back tomorrow to give you another Let's Play for WWE 2K15 2K Showcase Mode for Hustle, Loyalty, Disrespect.